Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another video for MRCS exam. Here yeah, the question, a 64 year old has a suspected limb lymphoma and lymph node biopsy from the posterolateral aspect of the right neck is planned. Which of the following nerve listed is the greatest risk of injury? So here, after careful reading, now uh, pick up the key point here. A 64 year old man has a suspected lymphoma. Lymph node biopsy from the posterior lateral aspect of the right neck is planned. Which nerve is the greatest risk of the injury? So the posterior lateral aspect of the neck that means the posterior triangle of the neck mainly. So here are the options. Options are accessory nerve, long thoracic nerve, external laryngeal nerve, facial nerve and vagus nerve. So here we can see uh, this is the sternocleidomastoid muscle and here the trapezius muscle and the space between the sternocleidomastoid and the trapezius this space this is the posterior triangle so according to the question posterior lateral aspect of the right neck that means the limb node taken from the posterior triangle of the neck and here we can see a important nerve is going through and this nerve is the accessory nerve which is cranial nerve 11 so in this picture also we can see here this is the posterior triangle bounded posteriorly by the trapezius muscle and anteriorly by the sternocleidomastoid and a base is formed by the middle side of the clavicle and apex or above part it is formed by the meeting point of the trapezius and sternocleidomastoid muscle and here we can see some of the nerve here the spinal accessory nerve and some other nerve such as the, uh, the brachial flexures and um, cutaneous branches of the cervical flexures but these lies more deep in the brachial flexures and the uh, different cutaneous nerve here such as nasal occipital greater auricular transverse cervical or supraclavicular they usually not injured during the procedure so the accessory nerve or spinal accessory nerve which is cranial nerve number 11 it is uh, most chance risk of uh, chance of the injury of this nerve so our final answer is spinal accessory because this accessory is lies in the posterior lateral aspect of the right neck and it may be injured during this procedure and this muscle this accessory nerve is very very important because it supplies anteriorly to the sternocleidomastoid muscle and posteriorly trapezius muscle and we know that the accessory nerve it is 11th number of the cranial nerve and it arises partly from the brain and partly from the spinal cord and finally it leaves the cranial cavity through the jugular foramen with other structures such as the cranial nerve 9 glossopharyngeal and 10 vagus and internal jugular vein thank you for